Hey, let's talk about Joe Biden. We got this story from the New York Post. Biden jokes he's really not Irish because he's sober, doesn't have relatives in jail. I, I'm sorry, guys. I got to say it based like this was a funny racist joke made by Joe Biden. You know what I mean? Like I, I remember asking Seamus if it was racist to make jokes about Irish people. And he said, yes. What was that, Seamus? You, you actually you don't like the jokes. You, you think it's derogatory mm-hmm. on well, St. Patrick's Day on St. Patrick's Day of all what? Well, come on. That's a little harsh, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we, we were what we were saying. Uh, I'm Irish, so I'm allowed to make these jokes. Is anybody else Irish in here? Yeah, right. I am. Yeah, I am right, as well. Phil, are you Irish? No, I am not. No, Jenny, you're not Irish. I'm Jewish. Jewish. Oh man. So there's three three people who are part Irish. So we're allowed to make. The, if you guys make any jokes, then we'll kick you out. I honestly think it's a hilarious <laughs> joke that Joe Biden made. It, it's funny. I know it's funny. <clears throat> like he's he, wow. That's 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 shockingly ethnically offensive. It sounds like a Trump line. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> like That's, if you replaced Irish with black and he was a, like Barack Obama made a joke about it being black. And he's like, because I don't eat this and have this. Like it would be the most offense. I mean, ridiculous. Even for a black dude to say it would be so. Danger it, it, Will racist. Robinson. No, but danger. you're right. Like saying, saying a certain ethnicity <laughs> is, you know, only real if they're drunk and in jail. It's That's horrible. That's amazing. What a stereotype. I know. It's funny. But is he, is he, he's Irish, so he's allowed to say it, right? Good is for that, you, is Joe. That how, is that yeah. I mean, I'm... How are you guys doing? I'm chilling. I'm not used to being the butt of jokes, like, racially, so I don't know how sensitive, what you should do about racially insensitive jokes. I've never really been that bothered by them. You should probably just not make them. It's a safe bet. And just let mm-hmm. other people make them. Don't be like, hey... Make- well, I mean, look, I mean, anytime you're... Uh, personally, I'm not going to police someone else... Like, I'm not going to be like, man, you shouldn't say this or you shouldn't say that. Like, if someone says something offensive, I'm going to be like, you know, I'm Look, be man. Like, you know, do that. The the whole Homer Simpson <laughs> fading back into the uh, the, the hedge is, behind him, you know. Dave Chappelle did a bit on one of his comedy specials where he squinted his eyes and his mouth and then made like offensive Asian stereotypes. And I <laughs> laughed my ass off at it. Yeah. And then I guess what happens is. If the woke people are like, that was offensive, and I say something like, you're correct, they'll go, well, because you're Asian, you understand. But if I say, actually, my family's part Asian, we find, that, find it hilarious, they'll say, well, you've internalized your white supremacy or something. Yep. You're white. It's like, That's exactly just... how I feel, because he makes jokes against Jews, and then the Jewish community like freaks out, and you're like, no, calm down. Like, Then every time, it's like Boy Who Cried Wolf. It's like every time you like freak out. It's something small. And then when something really big happens, it's going to be like, oh, whatever. Well, Trump derangement syndrome is real. Yeah. yeah like Sam Harris, that that guy's brain is just gone. You know, he was like, he, he did that podcast with Lex Fridman and he's like, it's it's you who have Trump derangement syndrome if you support Trump. And it's like, I saw, um, who was it? Uh, Joe Walsh, I think it was. Yeah, he's a clown. He said something like, why don't you want to be woke? And then yeah. I'm just like, dude, you." I was like, bro, because you're in a cult. These people are like, if you disagree with me, you love Trump. And I'm like, it was really funny when Dave Smith, who hopefully announces he's running for the for the uh, for president uh, for the presidency as a libertarian, he was on this show and they were like, you Trump supporters, and he's like, I'm a libertarian. It's like I hate Trump. I don't like the guy. Like, why are you assuming? Because they're in a cult. They their their brains are in a cult. They 100%. they they live in a world where there's only Trump or no Trump. And if you disagree with them because Biden's bad, then you must love Trump, even if you're actively smack talking Trump. They just it's a cult, man. Mm-hmm. I wonder mm-hmm. what cult I'm in. I feel like everybody's in a cult. Graphene. The graphene cult? Yeah, you won't let it go, man. Some the Mars kind, Some cult? kind of earth worship or something like that, probably. <laughs> God, the Gaia? I mean, probably earth something along the Cult of the eminent Gaia? Yeah. Something, something, something earthy crunchy. I do believe that like consciousness is is a spirit is like a magnetic field. Is yeah, that if other people early. start to believe you know when I was started making YouTube videos, it was a long time ago, like oh, I six. Well, you do? No. Oh, okay, good. Uh I, it got very culty. Like like internet video produces cults of personality where you become obsessed or in love with the person you watch and you subscribe to them and you pay them and like you become you support them and you follow them and it's like it can if you bear your soul to that it can become very like culty like weirdly culty the nice thing what you do is it's a business for you you keep it very business oriented it's very professional I mean know? that's true for any famous person you know yes like yeah you've got all these celebrities who are doing OnlyFans they're not doing porn though they're just posting bikini photos or whatever and they're making millions in and like when, days when you get emotional and then they start to get attached to that you'll notice they scream your name and they don't even care what you're talking about and that's when it's like this is cult i don't like can i just can i pretend i'm offended at joe biden's irish comments and like impeach him for it or something um, oh geez that was that's like he said the n-word for irish people right violence there. 
you know, yeah, it was violent. He attacked me. So I think it's I'm, gonna, a, I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need him to be impeached. Jim Jordan or Matt Gates, if uh, you could just maybe come in this weekend and file those impeachment papers. This is like getting dealt a trump card, an ace of spades when you're playing spades, and you're like, holy, <laughs> I, I get to hold this in my hand now, and this is going to guarantee don't I don't lose every hand. No, they don't care. Because he's indicating that it's okay to make racist jokes, which it is. We, you, it's not, it's free need, speech. You're allowed to do that. So now you need a video of a little kid who's like watching and going, ha ha, Irish people are dumb and saying stuff like that. Well, that's like, the look, what, look what Joe Biden has done to these children. That's the downside of racist jokes. But uh, yeah, that's life. You know, you, you need strong parents to tell kids like you're going to hear and see this stuff. I guess. Yeah, I'm but not if you're white passing, it, it uh, you can be racist. Yeah, if you're Irish, you know? but you pass for white, then you're OK because no one will know that you're drunk or in jail. Irish people are not white. They, I guess not. I mean, Luke's, Luke's got blonde hair and blue eyes, and they don't consider yeah, he's him white. Not, he's a slob. He's not white. <laughs> hey, you know what, man? I, I mean, it doesn't. It shouldn't surprise anyone that Joe Biden said something like that. It's, it's not offensive to, I mean, anyone really. Be, I mean, for the most part, most people just are going to be like, whatever. I don't. I don't imagine there's going to be a significant. Uh, constituency of of Irish people that are going to actually be up in arms about it. I mean, I, I just I just don't don't imagine that they're going to have a, anything to say about it. So it's it's going to go away and whatever. But and you should expect something brainless to come out of Joe Biden's mouth because Joe, you know by noon time he's out of it. Joe Biden could actually make disparaging comments about like black people and they wouldn't care. They I would mean, they would immediately respond with. Well, Donald Trump called Mexicans rapists or whatever, so you have nowhere, you have no room to talk or whatever, and you're going to be like, yeah, he never said that, dude. But they it, don't care. It is, it is, cult. it is a situation. Of, you know, the the hierarchy of of acceptable people and unacceptable people. So there is that. But again, it, it's just a matter of Joe Biden is like they're they're just going to ignore whatever he says for two reasons. One, he's the the. He's the president and he's on the left, ostensibly. And two, because they make excuses for him because he's got tapioca for brains. Right. They do. I mean, yeah, if he like if they really were to respond to this, they'd say, oh, well, old Joe's got brain issues. So we, we yeah. forgive him. And it's like, oh, now he's got brain issues. And, and it's fine. I mean, obviously, the, you know, it was vote for Joe Biden. Yeah. Everyone knew he was a, a mess two years ago. And Seamus and I are uh, starting a, a nonprofit to advocate for the rights of Irish people. <laughs> It's uh, it's called people organizing together against true oppression. Yeah, I'm gonna wait for people in the audience to put that one together. Yeah, write that down. It'll make more sense. It's actually a, a a bit we wrote for Cast Castle, because I was watching Leprechaun one day. This is a true story, and there's a scene in Leprechaun where the Leprechaun bites a guy, and then he starts turning Irish. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> he literally starts turning into an Irish guy, Leather. and he's like, he goes to he he's like a normal guy, and he gets bitten. And then he, I love those movies. They're he great. goes to a restaurant and he's like, I'll have the mashed potatoes, the French fries, the waffle fries, the sweet potato fries, <laughs> the tater tots. And then he's just got nothing but potato and he's like eating it. And then this, a is, a, this is a true story. Seamus walks in the living room and he's like, what's up, buddy? What are you watching? And then he turns and looks at the TV and he goes, what the? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, yo, this is the most racist thing I've ever seen. And I was like, yeah, it's Leprechaun. And he was like. Is he just stuffing potatoes? And I'm like, yeah, he's eating potatoes. And he was like, oh, my God. That's <laughs> so then we wrote a bit about people organizing together against true oppression. <laughs> it's potato, in case you haven't figured it out yet. Is it, in, in regards to the, the way that critical theorists view society, is it only racist if you make fun of a marginalized community? Or is, yes. it, is it still racist if you make fun of a non-marginalized community, but it's okay that it's racist? It's not. So according to the left, it's not racist if you're punching up. Yeah. Racism is prejudice plus power. It can only be applied to those who are weaker than you. So if a white homeless guy is laying on the ground with no teeth and he's, and he's shivering in the cold, and then, you know, a marginalized person walks by him and stumbles on him, and the white homeless guy says, hey, you know what, you stumble on me, they're going to be like, whoa, that was racist. Like, so, how dare you? He, he, like, because he's white. Then it I doesn't would, matter that he's dying. It would make people try to become victims and marginalized so that they can protect themselves from the racist jokes. That's yeah. the that's the standard behavior now. People do it all the time. Yeah, they, they constantly are using uh, victimhood or whatever to, to hey, as insulation or whatever. Where, where, where's the Irish reparations? You know, we're talking about San Francisco, and and they're saying if you identify as black, you qualify. If you live there and you identify as black, what what, what about you know Irish need not apply? Huh? It's the it's the McDonald's large 
Fry the, the, is their reparations. The uh, discrimination in lending against Irish people. I, I think Irish people should get reparations. You know, the, the Irish, government should give me your money. The Irish died in droves trying to do the uh, Erie Canal. You know, they that was slave you labor. See? Um, that's right. So that's ex- exactly right. Is you it because like, the British my people have suffered and have been oppressed historically? And you know, like is it I, left, should get, I should get money from the government for free. Is it left your over money, by the way? Pro- propaganda, British propaganda, because they hated the Irish because they were like island. Island barbarians that wouldn't capitulate to the empire? Well, the Irish and the British have always had uh, issues with each other. Uh, there, there's a lot of Protestant and Catholic animosity involved in that. Um, I don't know the details. I'm not interested in the uh, politics on the, uh, the those little yeah, islands. Let's, let's, I, don't, I don't think they're actually barbarians. They, they come from barbarian tribes or whatever you want to call them, but tribes back in the day. Thanks for watching this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. and become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.